Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. There's not going to be uh, much work going on today. Today is election day, I guess, voting day, I don't know, something. And so everybody's going down to vote. <laughs> and, you know, so much is going on all the time. You guys know we got so much going on with the restaurant, uh, the fish, uh, that my time is limited but uh, since we're not doing anything well at least this morning we're not doing anything uh, on the restaurant build and uh, as a foreigner I have nothing to do with any of the voting or the elections here I thought that I would devote some time to what I've been putting off putting off putting off and that is the solar so all these old controllers that I have here took a dump. They just uh, ceased to function over time. As you can see this one here uh, just fried. And none of the none of the other two could I ever get to work. And you know it's disappointing because these were you know, like 2,000 pesos a piece. But obviously they were just overloaded. Um, we had, uh, you know, they're rated at 100 amps and um, I forget the voltage, up to 96 volts, I believe. Now, the voltage is really irrelevant, but the 100 amps is what they were rated at. And um, I had three panels, three of these 550 watt panels hooked to each of those controllers, which is 1650 watts. Uh, which is um, far below what is supposed to be the 100 amp threshold. And, you know, that's the max rating on those panels. Probably lucky to get 1500 out of them on an absolutely bright sunny day. In my experience with the readouts on these controllers was uh, like 1200 1300 watts that's what I was getting so you know on paper I was only running those controllers at like a maximum of 65 percent 70 percent right in there but yet over time they all failed um, Chinese just overrated uh, crapola so uh, I've, I've decided in the interest of, I ordered another controller, and in the interest of not burning that one up as well, uh, instead of hooking three panels to each controller, I ordered this one as an experiment, mainly to see if if it was a controller issue. I mean, I, I was finding it hard to believe that I could have fried all the controllers, uh, but as it turns out, I did. Uh, just because they were they were not capable of handling the the anywhere near the rated capacity not over time anyway so what I've just what I decided to do was uh, just cut down the amount of current going into uh, this regulator so instead of being like it was before three panels three panels and then that that bank of six there um, I've just decided to go two panels. So that's 1100 watts. That'll be 1100 watts. And these two panels here, I'm going to put up and that will be 1100 watts. Those older panels there are going to come down and Tata can play with them. He can do whatever he wants. So I hooked up this controller. Now I've got to find the, uh, the handbook for this. I have no idea where it is. Uh, it's hooked up, and I can't figure out. Uh, you know, I've I've pressed all the buttons, and I can't figure out. You know, even though it's charging, I can't figure out. Uh, so that's the temp. Uh, that's the amperage. That's the only thing that it that it has been uh, showing. That's the, that's the amperage. 2.6 amps, which is about, I don't know, 300 watts-ish. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just not showing the what it's what they're putting out. Uh, it's giving an amps, but not a watts. So I'm going to uh, pull this panel back over. It's still morning time. It is partially cloudy today, so I wouldn't expect. Morning-ish. That's probably about the right amount of angle right there. It's 10 or so. So, uh, depending on how this works out, I'll probably get three more of these controllers. So that at least we can operate. I'm going to turn on this uh, inverter. So that I can at least run these small aeration units for now. Uh, we've got to do something to start uh, curtailing this insane power bill uh, that we've been getting. So I've got four, three, three or four of the small aeration units going right now. And I'm going to power them uh, off the solar during the day it'll be that much savings. Now, at, at 1100 watts, there's not much else that we can power. Uh, so, until I get more controllers and get all the panels hooked up, well, all the panels hooked up on a sunny day should be able to run everything that is normally running except for the well pump. Uh, and so the well pump will be uh, very early in the morning and very late in the evening. Uh, but on a sunny day, it should be able to handle, with all the panels hooked up, uh, all the aeration and the house. Uh, whether or not we can run air con during the day, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see and cross that bridge when we come to it. But I'm, uh, I'm going to order two more of these. Uh, no backup yet. Uh, this one was not, I, actually it's been so long I forget exactly how much this one cost. It was, it was less than these, uh, with the same rating. So, um, you know, I, I was not going to order any more of these. Uh, but I forget exactly how much this cost and exactly what the rating was. I think it was rated at 100 amps as well. Uh, so, I'll get some more and begin hooking these panels up and get some power going here thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe